Good morning, everybody. Theo the Juggernaut with you here talking about this weekend's upcoming adventures. Canada Day 150, of course, lots of fireworks, lots of fun stuff going on. Well, let's just get right down to it. Last night, the Gold Eyes put a final push through, down 6-2 to two most of the game, coming back to tie at 7-7, seven, seven. going to the extras. Unfortunately, the Gary Railcats pulled it through with an 8-7 win in 11 innings. Zach Dodson pitched fairly well, giving up a lot of runs, though, early in the game, putting the Gold Eyes behind the eight ball, so to speak. And the Gold Eyes did come back. Pluffner hitting eight games in a row now. Very well done for him. As for now, they play three games against the Sioux Falls Canaries going into the weekend. Uh, Mikey O'Brien starts pitching tonight. And then uh, our boy Edwin Carl tomorrow afternoon on Canada Day. So look forward to a great tilt Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if you're looking for something to do. Enjoy Shar Park. Enjoy the wonderful festivities. And, of course, the fireworks Saturday night at the Forks. Will be crazy town down there for sure. Please be safe. Please be careful. As for our Winnipeg Blue Bombers, they decided to stay here in Winnipeg as long as they possibly could. They leave this morning to head over to Saskatchewan to take on the Rough Riders on Canada Day as well. Opening up Mosaic Stadium looks beautiful, looks gorgeous. They're going to be looking out some kinks on the building, but more importantly, we're going to try to sort out the kinks on the field. Offensively, Matt Nichols will control most of the play. As always, he's got some great, wonderful receivers, including TJ Ford, who's just on the practice roster. He's still kind of dealing with some injuries. But look for Darwin Adams to kind of lead the way, lead that field to uh, exploit some of that deep secondary that the Rough Riders have issues with. Hopefully the Bombers can stretch the field. Hopefully they control the clock. As for our defensive side, like we've said, it's don't break, but certainly bend and certainly try to get the job done as much as possible so that the uh, offense can do their job and put up more points than the Rough Riders. It should be the first game. for It's the second game for the Rough Riders. They're 0-1. As for our Bombers, the first game this year but since last year when they lost to BC in the playoffs. So look for some revenge from a Western Conference foe. Hopefully the Bombers can pull out the victory. I think they will. I think that secondary in the defensive side will get a little bit of help from Westermen and their plan of attack to get on the Rough Riders' offensive uh, prowess and get rid of their offensive leads as much as possible. As for Winnipeg Jets, they also finished their development camp this morning uh, they with a scrimmage of both quad squads A and B going down at 10.30 this morning, so it's probably going to start in about 20 minutes' time if you aren't down there right now. A lot of great speed, a lot of great talent out there. Kind of feeling it out for these uh, scouts to see whether or not they're going to see what's going on in terms of the next step. And I think Jack Roslovich and I think Kyle Connor, I think those two players uh, especially are looking forward to making that next step come this upcoming 2017-2018 season. A lot of the youngsters uh, definitely feeling their ways within the waters, a little bit nervous at times, but like we've said, they're all young, they're all great players, but I think Roslovich and I think Kyle Connor are the two guys in uh, the driver's seat, so to speak, to make the upcoming roster here in the fall. Uh, Steve Mason's in town. Uh, there was talk of Jonathan Bernier coming into town as well, uh, Mr. Brian Elliott from the Flames. Those are the three guys in question here to possibly be signed after July or on July 1st. Look for that action happening tomorrow morning starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Hopefully the Winnipeg Jets can do something and some, pick up somebody. Uh, you know, Because like I've always said, if, uh, if the plan of attack isn't working, you need to change the plan or the attack. And right now both aren't working. Uh, the plan last year to learn on the job, so to speak, for our goaltenders, Mr. Hutchinson and Mr. Hellebuck, didn't work. And uh, we didn't miss, make the playoffs as well incredible offensive skill not so much on the defensive side so hopefully a veteran goalie quality can bring in some skills and bring in the tutelage that they require for maybe this year and possibly next year Theo the Juggernaut saying happy Canada Day enjoy the wonderful weather out there and like I said be safe and be careful with them fireworks don't pull a uh, wonderful firework accident like some giants used to do a couple years back take care bye bye